the 200K, the 2000K. 2000K would be the same thing as what? Using that same resistance. The Teachers Institute on Wireless Technology is a professional development program sponsored by the ARRL, the National Association for Amateur Radio. Each summer, several week-long seminars for teachers are offered in various parts of the country. This expenses paid program gives participants hands-on experience with STEM subjects through amateur radio. If I give it longer? The course covers electronics, the science of radio, microcontroller programming, and robotics. Teachers from all grade levels are invited to apply. The first topic covered is basic electronics. With a combination of theory and hands-on practice, teachers learn about the fundamentals of electromagnetism, basic circuits and components, and how to use digital multimeters and oscilloscopes to make electrical measurements. Participants learn about soldering and electronic assembly by building their own project from a kit. Next, teachers move on to study wireless communications. They learn how information is sent and received over radio waves, including both analog and digital signals. They work with ARRL's instructional resources that show them how five basic circuits make receivers and transmitters possible. You drop down and new line. While at the Institute, teachers also learn about amateur radio. Demonstrations and discussions help teachers see how amateur radio activities motivate students and enhance learning in STEM subjects. They take part in a transmitter hunt and listen to an amateur radio satellite contact. In some workshop host sites, they can check out the host amateur radio station and might even get on the air. I've had so much fun with learning the fox hunt, learning how to find the hidden transmitters. I've had fun with uh, learning how to get, getting an oscilloscope and being trained how to use it, which was great because I didn't know that. Motivated teachers may have a chance to take FCC license exams, either to get their first ham radio license or to upgrade their existing license. Ooh, we passed. Okay. An important feature of the workshop is that teachers receive extensive hands-on materials and a reference library of ARRL materials to take back to their classrooms. Another key area of instruction has participants assembling and programming simple robots designed around the basic stamp microcontroller. Combining their microcontroller programming and electronics knowledge, they work with both analog and digital sensors to turn LEDs on and off, produce sound, and learn to use pulse width modulation to control the robot's motors and servos. I made this one blink every 250 microseconds, and this one blink every 125 microseconds. Okay, so now why is just one blinking? Okay, can I ask it? Um, the science behind it, it, it all kind of comes together. The the fox hunts is, was really cool for me as well. We have a number of different uh, link learning academies at our campus, and one of them is uh, law and public safety. And so for those kids, if I can get them interested in doing that, because that definitely has to do with search and rescue, especially in our mountains that are close by. So a lot of things that I'm going to be able to put into place in a lot of different areas on our campus. So, Well, in general, uh, I've already tried to go and uh, get ham radio into my classroom and make it available to my students. I've had some students go and get licenses and such already. Um, when it comes to the robotics side, uh, I want to go and integrate that with a robotics class that I have coming up. And so uh, hopefully a fusion of the materials that we have here today and the information that, that we have here uh, can go into my class that's coming up this next fall. The ARRL Teachers Institute is designed for motivated teachers who want to learn more about radio and wireless technology and introduce that material in their classroom. For more information and to find out how to apply, visit www.arrl.org/ti.